The president of Belarus, Alexander Lukashenko, who in 2022 provided his territory for the invasion of Russian troops into Ukraine and repeatedly expressed confidence in the victory of the Russian Federation, changed his rhetoric against the backdrop of the successful offensive of the Ukrainian armed forces in the Kursk region, which has been ongoing for more than a week. In an interview with Russian propagandists, the Belarusian leader called for sitting down at the negotiating table and ending the fight. According to him, neither Russians nor Ukrainians nor Belarusians need it. B. Eiter quotes him as saying, at the same time, he traditionally pounced on the West with accusations claiming that some Western officials allegedly want the war to continue. As usual, Lukashenko did not provide any evidence for his words, citing the fact that these are closed facts. These are high-ranking officials of American origin who are talking about this, and I'll give you a little insight, the dictator said. Against the backdrop of the Kursk operation, Lukashenko sent troops to the border with Ukraine recently to stop possible Ukrainian breakthrough. At the same time, he claims he has no hard feelings towards Ukraine. Ukrainians saw that. They constantly told us they didn't need war with Belarus. We understand this and say we will not fight with Ukrainians, Lukashenko said. According to him, Belarus and Russia are not interested in expanding the contact line. The entire border is 1,200 kilometers. Now the northeastern district of the front is 1,000. Are we ready for more? No, and the Kursk showed this, Lukashenko added. He also made threats against NATO, promising an instant response in the event of a violation of the Belarusian border. According to him, there would allegedly be no red lines in such a case. Belarus is even ready to use nuclear weapons in the event of a violation of the Union state's borders. However, the head of the Belarusian regime making this statement seemed to have forgotten about the events in the Kursk region. Ukrainian journalist Andriy Saplienko commented Lukashenko's words. He said, that is, the situation with Kursk is no longer a state border, or the Russian Federation is not a Union state. Severe storms and heavy rainfall have wreaked havoc in Spain's Mallorca island during the height of the summer season. The streets and hotels have been flooded and cars carried away as the country issued a red weather alert for the island in the Mediterranean Sea. A video footage shared on social media shows the floors of a hotel in the island being completely flooded, with workers wading through the water. The Spanish National Weather Service EMET, issued a red alert for Mallorca, saying that the affected areas could see up to 180 millimeters of rain fall over the course of just a few hours. The red alert is in force for the north and northeast of Mallorca, including Arda, Palenca and Sa Pabla areas. The rest of the island is on orange level alert for the same freak weather. The country's another famous touristic destination, Ibiza, is entirety on an orange alert for storms and rain. Hola chicos. Mire ya, mira este coche de aquí, cómo le sube el agua, esto es aquí al lado de esa cañeta.